country here. I'm talking about the Arduino Eclipse plugin. One of the biggest problems with the Arduino Eclipse plugin on Windows is the make file issue. Lots of people don't know how to find a make file solution. I'm going to explain you here two solutions. One for people who want to debug and one for people who do not want to debug. Let's go to the screen. Here we are. We, are, we have installed Arduino and we have installed Arduino Eclipse plugin. Let's start the Arduino Eclipse plugin. Open a new workspace. Start really quick, which is basically what I'm going to show you now. So we need to point to the Arduino which we installed. Which is here. Okay. This one default misses documents. So you have to go to documents, Arduino libraries. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, now we create a new sketch, which we call make fail. We do it with a RVR, AVR board, for instance the FIO, okay, we use a sample program, for instance graph, finish, now it's asking Arduino information and now we have here the graph.ino, yeah, which is the code, we can compile it, and then we look at the console and we get the dreaded make not found in path. So the simple solution is to go to your browser, type in this URL, press enter, and it will download it. Yeah, and then we copy this program into the Windows folder. So you have to have it in the rights and stuff like that, otherwise it won't work. But anyway, um, now we build it again. And we get this error. The error is actually based on the fact that the Eno is not recognized. So um, what you do is you go to Windows again, Preferences, C++. Everything we're doing right now is for every new workspace you create. Yeah? So new star dot Eno and you call it a C++ source file. Okay. Okay. So now we compile again. Okay. Can't compile from here. I need to select the project and say compile. Or let's say verify on in. Uh, and now you can see it verifies, it verifies. Okay. And then you can upload and stuff like that. Now there is something weird at this point in time because the indexer doesn't work see if you do begin it doesn't work yeah it should do that now the reason why it does that is because we opened the eno file before we said the eno file is a c plus plus file so now we can do this and this is uh Okay. I'm not sure what this program is all about, but anyway, as you can see, this works fine now. Um, and uh, in case you have uh, problems here, that's probably because you do not have any includes, and then you just include Arduino.h here. 
and that should fix your issues uh, with uh, weird things here. But don't forget, if you opened an Edo file before you marked Edo files as being C++, it will work. Um, so that's actually the simple solution for people who want to, uh, who do not want to debug. Suppose that you want to do, do debugging later on, you cannot do that. You let go back to deleting. Uh, okay, so we're back into the, the So we didn't find making the path again, we get the same error again. So we're back into troubles because we've deleted the make file. Yeah. So the other option is to go to Mingwei, which is actually this URL. And you go here, download installer. This is I probably not the best thing, but that's what I've been doing, and that's the uh, um, that's what works. Don't change the installation directory; it will give problems. So it's installing now the installer. Now we have the installer. We can say that we want to uh, install the developer tool. We, what we need is the GCC G++, G++ mark for installation. And we also need uh, MinGV base. Yeah. Um, and then you do um, Apply changes. And while we are uh, waiting for it to install, you can see that I actually already have uh, so it's uh, the path, it dumps the path here. Um, programs, record. Um, so I already have C, MinGV been added to my path, so I do not have to do that anymore. But if you're just installing this the first time, you will have to do that. Um, you will have to add that to the path. So. We close all these, we don't need the browser anymore. Uh, so now we go to um, refreshing it. So here is MinGV now, and in MinGV we have a bin, and in bin we find. So here we have Minky between that make.exe. We just copy and paste. And we rename it to make.exe. That's it. Note that Windows by default does not show you the extensions, so be careful. If you do not have the extensions ah, activated, so and as I already have added the, this folder to my path, we can go back here and compile again. And there you go.
Now you know how to fix the make issue. Wait for the next videos, or I will explain you how to start debugging with the Arduino Eclipse plugin. See you!